Hello, hello. This video is uh, one that I was going to do to show how I use one of my favorite tools to somebody who is curious about how to use it. And then I just decided I'll just do a full on video and show everybody because I actually get asked about this tool quite a bit. This is the Zipper Jig by Myth Leather Co. Um, I do want to start off by saying, first of all, that uh, Myth Leather Co. did shut down. Um, I've been told it was temporary, but they haven't exactly announced when they're going to be reopening. I did speak with Garth, who said that um, if anybody was interested in getting one to contact him, um, so he might still be willing to make them and have them available. Um, he just won't have them listed on their site because their site is down. Um, there are, uh, acrylic versions of this available on Etsy that I've seen, but I, I prefer this one, um, for the simple fact that it's a lot more durable and I can... Uh, use a blade around it if I need to, um, which I actually don't, um, but it's less likely to get damaged because it does run across my machine foot. Um, I always use a Teflon foot, but in the rare occasion that I use a metal foot, I don't want to damage it, and if it was acrylic, it would not last as well. So this is a double-sided tool. And as you can see here, you've got the uh, number three side and the number five side. I haven't used a number three zipper in years, so I only use the number five. And you can use it in a few different ways. Um, one of the most common ways that people recognize and the reason why they ask me about it is because I use it to close zippers. If I'm opening a zipper and I want to get it closed up so that I can make sure that everything lines up properly when I'm installing it, I just run this tool over it. Whoops. Don't mind this crappy zipper. This is a zipper that I don't even use very much because it's so crappy. And now it's making me look like a liar. I trust, you know, trust me, it's not. See, it's, I'm not a liar, it does work. It's just a really crappy zipper that I got from Amazon. So, anyways, um, yeah, so when I have a zipper on and I open it so I can continue my stitching, then you end up with, you know, that part that's tucked under the fabric and the bubble opened up area, whatever you want to call it. And so I'll just slide the zipper jig over it to close it up. This is not, uh, give me one moment. Stupid zippers making me look like a liar. I'm not lying. See, it works perfect on this zipper. But I was using this one because it's a bolder color, so you'd be able to see it better on the black. So this is one half an inch by seven inches long. So if you wanted a seven inch pocket um, opening, you're set. If you want it longer or shorter, then you're gonna have to do the measurements yourself or use a template, but one of the things that you can do is you line up where you want your zipper hole to be and then you can just trace around it with whatever your marking tool is which will give you the perfect seven inch by half inch space for your zipper and then make your little cutouts And then I draw my cut line, just like that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, stitched down onto the other side of this just to kind of pretend this is uh, the other side of the pocket on the exterior of a bag or whatever. Okay, so now that I've got this piece all prepped, what I do is, with double-sided tape on the back side, I will take the zipper. You want to make sure that your zipper is already on. I just grabbed a random pull here, so... Now watch, this is not even going to go on because the zipper is a brat. Oh. Well, that's shocking, it went on. Okay, so I'll pull the zipper up towards the very end, towards the uh, rounded side. And then I place the jig right on top of the zipper. And then, double-sided tape side down, I will lay the zipper panel around the zipper jig. Pressing it down to where I want it to sit. And as you can see, it's nice and flush. Now, normally I like to do massive pockets. So my zippers are usually about 10 inches, between 8 and 10 inches wide, um, sometimes a little bit longer, so I'll have more space in here. But because I have the zipper there, the jig is not um, short enough to have the zipper inside of here. I can't words. So I will just leave the one side sticking up and then I always make sure to start along one side closer to the zipper so that I can go around. If that even made sense. Nothing I ever say makes sense, so ignore me. So with the zipper jig in place, I have a narrow Teflon foot and let me show you what it looks like. You're going to have to probably use a zipper foot um, to get close enough for decent top stitching. But this is the style of foot that I use. If it wants to focus at all. There we go. So it's just a very narrow Teflon industrial zipper foot. And with this being as thin as it is, I can get right up against the jig. So let me readjust my camera so you can get a better view of what's going on. Okay, hopefully this is a pretty decent angle for you. It's very awkward for me. So... With your zipper foot or with the narrow foot, you want to get right up against the jig. As you can see, it is touching. Hold the ends of the thread and then just stitch around the um, jig. I make sure that I hold the jig in place so it doesn't slide around. And you can also use it to 
push back towards the edge of the pocket or the edge of the zipper hole opening um, to make it more box shaped. So you can keep your corners a little bit more crisp. Now I'm not perfect at this, this is just how I do it. And then I will use my other hand to hold the fabric down so that I can go right up to the edge of the box, cut my corners, and then go back around the other side. And I make sure I press the jig right up against the edge when I go down the side. And then again down the bottom. Once I get up to right about where I started on the opposite side, I take my foot off the gas, move the jig, and then this is the part where I slide the zipper back into place. And this is also probably going to be the part where this piece of crap zipper decides that it doesn't want to participate. So it's going to give me grief. And I will just hold it down and use the jig to close the zipper back up. Enjoy watching me fuss with this while I get it to participate. That's far enough. Um, at this moment, I also take the time to pull my thread through to the back side because I do not back stitch on pockets. And then replace the jig, pushing it up against the opposite corner, and continue. Go right back up to the beginning, pull it long and cut. And there you go. Once you pull the threads through, uh, which one is it? I think it's this one. Pull the threads through, tie them off. And there's the pocket. Practically perfect top stitching all the way down. I did have a skipped stitch over here and it doesn't look perfect but I tell you this is worlds better than what I used to have um, before I started using the zipper jig and I will never stop using it. Honestly, if uh, I break mine, I will cry and beg Garth to make me a new one. So there you have it. That is the zipper jig from Myth Leather Co. Um, and that is a notification on my phone. And another one. Um, I did initially find out about this thing from, uh, I think it was Lauren Mormino a couple of years ago. So I was glad that I managed to 
buy one before before they close down and hopefully they'll reopen so that other people can uh, purchase these. So hopefully that gave you some insight as to um, how the tool is used, how functional it can be, and how my son makes random noises when I'm filming. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye!